In this video, we're gonna see how to get the Coin API for free and then we're gonna see how to interact with it using Python. Here you can see we are interacting with the Coin API using the Python and we get the response. You can see that I asked a prompt like what is LLM and it gave us the response like LLM stands for the Large Language Model SRK. And finally, we're gonna use the Coin API to build a chatbot that will understand the context. Here you can see it will continuously ask us to enter the prompt and it will give us the response according to the prompt. And the cool thing is that it can understand the context. That is, it will use the memory to store the aerial chats that we have made and it will give the response according to it. So let us see how to get this coin API for free and interact with it and then we are gonna build a chatbot. Let's get started. So before we proceed here, we are gonna first uh, let us see how to access the coin API via the web. For this, just head over to the website called the chat.coinlm.ai. I will provide the link of this in the description. You can check that out. So this is the dashboard of the coin alum. You can see that the interface is very similar to the chat CPD. Let's ask you a prompt like, hi, how are you? So we'll have to create an account so that we can uh, interact with it. So let's click on login. I'm going to select login with Google. So let me select my account. So let's click on continue. Click on confirm. Just uh, slide this to verify ourselves. We have successfully logged into the coin. Now we can able to ask the prompt. So let's try to ask a prompt like, hi. And you can see that we get a response like, how are you? How can I help you? In the coin, the image generation is also available. You can see that at the bottom of the options, you can see here we have an option called the image generation. So let's click on that option, the image generation. I'm going to give you a prompt like, you can see that I ask you a, a prompt like, draw a person on moon and we get the response immediately. This is the person that is on the moon and we can also download this image. Just click on this download icon to download the image. So let me open this image now. You can see that this is the prompt and we got the response, a man on the moon. So let me close this image. And the video generation is coming soon. You can see that when you click on the video generation, it says coming soon. And the web search is also available, but it is also coming soon. So similar to the chat GPT, in the coin also, we can able to upload the file. So in the coin, you can only upload the documents only. You can you cannot able to upload the images, that is the JPEG images or the PNG images. You can only upload the documents, that is the, it can be either PDF files or it can be document files. So let's try to upload any one of the document file now. So let me choose the, you can see that when we select the image, you can see that we get a message like model point 2.5 max is not image capable. So we will have to upload the document. So I'm going to select this document answer key. So let's try to upload this file now. And for the prompt, I'm going to give you a prompt. Let's extract the text from this document. While it is generating the response, so let me open the PDF now. So let's go to the downloads. So let me open the PDF to show you what the contents is inside the PDF. So let's open this answer key now. You can see that this answer key just contains some questions and answer. You can see that it also displays the question and answer define money market. So this that is define margin market. And in the PDF also we have the define margin market and some questions there. So this is what we extracted from the PDF also here in the one. So before you proceed here, so if you want to install the coin locally, that is using the Volama, I will show you how you can do that as well. So if you go to the Volama.com, so let me go to the Volama now. So here in the Volama, if you go to the models or you can use the search options. So let me uh, go to the models. And if you search for the coin model, so let's try to search here. You can see that DeepSeek R1 is available. I have already made you about the DeepSeek. If you want to see how you can install the DeepSeek and how you can get the API, I will provide the link of those videos in the description. You can check that out. You can see that the coin uh, models are already available. That is the coin 2.4. So let's try to open this. So if you want to change the uh, parameters, you can do that as well. That currently it is like 37 billion parameters. So let's try to change this to uh, 14 billion. You can do that as well. The 7 billion parameter is of 4.7 gigabytes. If you want to install this, just download the Volama and copy this command and paste it in your terminal and install it one locally. Now let us see how to get the coin API for free. For this, we're gonna use a website called the Open Router. So just open a new tab and type openrouter.ai. This will open a website like this. So just click on sign in to create your account. I'm gonna choose the Google. Now we have a login using the account. If you go to the uh, search model, you can see on the top left hand side, you can see option called the search model. Just click on that and you're gonna search for the coin. Here you can see we have the option called the 1 2.5 that is free. Just select that and at the uh, last section you can see uh, we have the option called the API. Just click on that. We will have to create the API key. 
just click on create api key consider i have already made three api keys i'm gonna create a new api key now just click on create key i'm gonna give you a name for my key like one uh, tutorial let me create this api key now so this is our api key so this is how you create a api key for the coin api through the open router i will show you another method also using the graph method that is also free so first let's see this then we can able to proceed on that method so i'm gonna open the visual studio code so let's try to create a python file now so i'm gonna create a python file called the coin tutorial and inside this python file i'm gonna paste this api key so api key equal to let's paste our api key that we have copied so now we got our api key right so if you go to the uh, open router they have provided a detailed documentation there how you can interact with the coin api through the uh, op open router so if you click on docs you can see that this is a documentation on how you can interact with the uh, coin api there are two options available python and the typescript in this video we're gonna focus on the python only so let's try to click on the python so using the python we're gonna use a library called the open ai so using the open ai only we can able to interact with the coin api so for this we'll have to install the open ai so just open your terminal so if you are using the windows open your command prompt i'm using the linux so i will open the terminal we will have to install the library for this just type pip install open ai this will install the open ai library for you now if uh, you can see that it says requirement already satisfied let me clear the screen and let's go to the resource to your pool to import our library that we have installed now so we're gonna follow this documentation there so from open ai we're gonna import the open ai class and then we're gonna create the client client equal to so we're gonna call the open ai class inside this parse the base url since we are accessing the coin api through the third party we'll have to provide the base url or yes, just go to the open router documentation this is the base url just copy this and let's go to the resource the code and let's paste it here and we'll have to pass the api key also api key equal to api key variable that's it now we have created the client we can create a response now response equal to we're gonna use the client dot chat dot completions dot create to create our one api response so inside this we'll have to pass the sub parameter you can see that we have different different parameters if you go to the documentation first you will have to select the model so let me go to the visual studio to select the model so model equal to if you don't know the model name you can directly go to the open router in the search bar you can search for the model so let me go to the home page and in the search models just type one so this is the model that we have choose earlier so just click on this and you can see that this is the model name just copy this model name and let's go to the resource to your code and paste it here on the model argument and below that we will have to provide the messages so messages equal to we can uh, pass a list of dictionary so that is inside this dictionary we are going to provide two uh, dictionaries that is the user role and the assistant role so we will have to provide the role equal to user and the content of the user is the this is the prompt that you will have to provide to the coin api so you can change this prompt if you want i'm gonna get the prompt from the user directly so prompt equal to so we're gonna use the input function to get the prompt directly from the user enter the prompt and finally we can print the response to see response dot choices of and inside the choices we're gonna select the zero index and inside that we have the message and if you want to just print the content message dot content that's it this will print the llm's output only so let's save this file and let's try to uh, run this now uh, you can see that it asks us to enter the prompt for the prompt i'm gonna give you a message like what is llm let's try to enter this you can see that we get a response like llm stands for the large language model it is a type of artificial intelligence blah 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 we get the response for this prompt what is llm so this is one way of accessing to the uh, coin api using the open router method and uh, another method to get the coin api for free is the grok so if you go to the browser and let's open a new tab and type grok so don't confuse it with the grok that is launched by the twitter that is the elon musk so this is another company so just type the grok so if you click on the api keys you can see that i have already uh, created an account on this so that's why we get a message like create api key so if you go to the website for the first time it will ask you to create an account so just create an account and then click on create api key so i have already have a api key so let me delete the existing api key and i will show you how to create the api key from the 
fresh so just click on create apk and give you a name for your apk i'm gonna create a name like one tutorial i'm gonna create uh swallow this caption and, and click on submit you can see that now we got the uh, apk i'm gonna create a new file on the user zero code the file name will be part2.ty so inside this i'm gonna create this apk apk equal to let's paste the apk that we have copied earlier so just close this and if you go to the playground you can see that this is the playground that you can interact with it if you click on view code you will get the code for it so i will show you later this first let's uh, explore what is inside that if you click on the models you can see that currently there are lots of models available that dipstick r1 dipstick r1 distill llama there are all the av uh, models available out there in the product you can see that we also have the llama all the models llama 2.3.2 3.3 .3 also 70 billion parameters and at the top you can see we have a option called the one 2.5 32 billion so just select that so this in this video we're gonna use this model if you want to try the other models you can select that as well you can see that this is the playground that you can interact with the graph using the one model so i'm gonna ask a prompt like what is lnm and you can see that you get the response immediately graph stands for the blah 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 so if you want to see the code just click on view code so you can see that this is the sample code on how you can interact with the coin api through the graph so let's try to copy this code and let's go to the research studio code and paste it here so let's open the terminal we'll have to install the library that is the graph so pip install graph and press enter you can see the requirement already satisfied so let me close this terminal so in inside this graph we'll have to pass the apk apk equal to this will be our apk from the graph we're gonna import the graph uh, class and inside the graph class we're gonna pass the apk equal to apk and the model that we're gonna use is the 1 2.4 32 billion parameters and the message will be here you can see this is the message role equal to user content equal to what is llm and for the response we get your response like role equal to assistant and the response written by the a is the llm stands for the something something and below that we have the temperature and stream equal to true and finally we have used the two code to print the output to the console so let's try to run this so just save this file and click on run icon consider we get here so we have a pro ask any prompt new prompt right so let's try to ask the new prompt that's why we get here like it looks like you missed the prompt so the role equal to user and for the content i'm gonna get the content directly from the user also so content equal to prompt Or we can directly uh, ask a prompt like explain with a real example what is AI agents. So this is our prompt now. So let's try to save this and run it now. So we missed the comma. So let me fix this. So let me try to add this comma here and let's try to save this file. So let me clear the screen and let's try to rerun this now. You can see that now we got the response. In the nicely neat format, A agents are software programs or systems designed to perform tasks autonomously. So this is how you interact with the Quan API through the Grok method. This is the second method of how you can get the Quan API for free. You can also build a chatbot based out of this. So let me show you how you can do the chatbot. For this, let me indent this using the while loop. So while so we're gonna continuously execute this following code. So let me indent this. So let's try to select all this code up to the completion and I'm gonna press the tab key to make a inundation and below this we're gonna create a variable called the history so history equal to this will be a empty list so this is used to uh, store the previous chats so let me cut this and paste this inside the history so using this history list only we can able to understand the previous chats you can see that we're gonna remove this content this will be content of prompt and we're gonna ask the prompt from the user so prompt equal to we're gonna get the input from the user we're gonna call the input function inside this enter the prompt so that's it and at the start of this enter the prompt we can use the end line so now we can uh, see how to uh, get the a response in a single line we're gonna use the list comprehension so a result equal to we're going to call the join function so 
inside this join function just use the list comprehension for response in response so we're gonna call the response dot choices of we're gonna select the first index and inside this we have the delta and inside the delta we have the actual content so that's it so if you don't have any content or and we're gonna leave this as a empty string so that's it now we have the response generated from the a and we're gonna store this in the a result so let me change this variable to the response now now we have the a result right we can add this a result to the history variable before that let's bring the a result so that we can see what the error gave us the output so history dot append so the role will be the assistant and the content will be before the let's post the prompt that is the role equal to user and content equal to the prompt that we have entered on the terminal and after that we're gonna open the role equal to assistant and we're gonna open the a result that is generated from the llm that is the one api so let's try to save this file before that let me clear the screen so let me expand this terminal so you can view it better so let me run this so we get a prompt like enter the prompt i'm gonna give, ask a prompt like what is a agents so we get a error like bad request minimum number of items is one so we get a error like on the messages we should have minimum number of items so i have found the culprit so inside these messages we have in passed the history variable so let me pass the history list here so this should work fine so let me clear the screen and let's try to run this for the second time so let's save this file and let's click on this and icon you can see that you're gonna enter your parent like what is ai agents press enter you can see that we get a response immediately and I, you can see that again it asks us for the prompt and for the prompt i'm gonna ask you a question like what is or we can ask you a question like explain with an example you can see that it explains this with an example so this is how you interact with the Kony api using the python and you can also build a chatbot based out of the Kony api so we are uh, seeing the two methods that is we can get the api through the open router and we can get the api through the graph method also so this is for this video and i will continue in the next one